happy Saturday. I hope we are all having an amazing week. I'm coming in here today to just talk about getting clear on your vision and your why and then um, what it then means for your life in terms of your happiness, your ability actually to work regardless of circumstance. So if you um, don't know me, I'm Izzy Bradshaw. I had a 10 year um, corporate property career, director age 30 um, in central London. And then when I had my little boy and we had to have a full time nanny, I just found it almost impossibly difficult, um, suffered from really bad anxiety and took a complete career change into the fitness industry, retrained as a personal trainer and became a wellness influencer and coach right here on social media. So I help women globally with their health. Um, so the reason why I wanted to come in today to talk about your vision and your why um, this is really for people who, um, you know, you might be in a corporate career, you might be working a nine to five and you might just be feeling like really ground down or that just it's not aligned with what you had intended for your life or what you'd wanted for it. And certainly that's where I found myself um, about 18 months ago. And, you know, I know um, we're away at the moment. Um, I have the ability to work flexibly. So I'm still working in the same way as I would at home. And I know for a lot of people, they you know, they really um, wonder how I find the ability to be able to do that. And the reason why I find the ability to be able to do that is that I have a crystal clear vision um, of what I want from what I do. And it's um, full of purpose and it's really intentional in terms of what I want to achieve. Um, and certainly for me, it's about um, making a broader impact. So I retrained as a personal trainer, but I found that obviously whilst I love training people one on one, I wanted to make a broader impact in the world and actually help people on a broader scale. Um, but what motivates me day in, day out and, you know, to show up when I'm away um, and to work in the same manner and yes it comes with sacrifice of course it does you know I um I get up about half past five and I do that work so that I can spend that time with my family and the reason why I do that is because I'm incredibly motivated and if you struggle to find that motivation with what you do no matter what it is I suggest that you just need to look at um, what you're wanting from what you do. So what would your life look like in an ideal world and what that looks like for me will be really, really different to what that looks like for you. And that's certainly something that I mentor and help my own um, team of wellness influencers with globally. I lead that team. Um, and the thing is, is that to see success, you need to be crystal clear on what you want from your life and how that looks. So for me, I want the ability to be able to travel whenever and wherever and spend time with whomever. I want to and to enjoy that time with my family and so that means that in order to have that vision and that future um, and to have holiday homes abroad um, it means that I do work flexibly which is great because we can travel um, but it means that I um, have certain kind of goals that I want to achieve as a result of that vision so I'm crystal clear on that I've got it down on Canva I don't know if you guys have come across, Can across Canva it's an amazing um, website you can you can get it for free or you can upgrade where you can put all of those pictures from Pinterest of what your ideal world look like and think about what really um you know what really motivates you how do you want to make a difference in the world and I know for me like I I was highly successful I ran my own office um in central London a residential property team but I didn't feel like I was giving back to the world and so I've become really really clear on what it is I want to do and how I want to make an impact and that is to help other women with their health and that obviously may well not be the same for you but think about it and then what I do every single morning is I refocus back on that vision if you follow my stories you'll see that I look at my vision board I write down and um, what I'm grateful for and what I want for my life and my family's life and that motivates me more than anything and I know people say to me I really admire your motivation your dedication but it's because I do those things and they are simple practices that are really really going to help you and if you're not sure how that looks just get a pen and paper and just let your mind flow I think when we're caught up in like the rat race of life and we're moving at 100 miles an hour we don't allow our brains that time to really reflect and work out you know what it is we want from life and I know that was true of me like I you know I'm severely like ambitious um you know you could say I was a workaholic and because of that like I want to be the best at what I do and no matter what I do and that means that it sometimes I wasn't taking that time to look at actually was that really right for what I wanted that property career and actually had I looked at that a little while ago um, hadn't spent 10 years doing it I would have realized that that actually wasn't really where I wanted to be so I hope that's been useful like I know for me I've learned so much about myself that I didn't even know just by trying to give myself that brain space and I'm not saying that it needs to take like 
you know, half an hour, you could just say, right, I'm going to spend 10 minutes just writing down what I want for my life. And then it will start to come clear over time, but do it every morning, focus on that vision every morning, write it out, look at it. When you immerse yourself in those visuals and actually you immerse yourself in that life that you want. So we're here like in this amazing part of Maryland, like right on the um, estuary to the sea. And that's what is on my vision board, which is really crazy. Like we are gonna buy um, one of those wooden houses with um, the porches all the way around, but I'm immersing myself in that environment and that will motivate you more than anything. So do whatever you can in your power to immerse yourself in those environments that you enjoy. So I hope that's been useful. Those are like my top tips. So just really giving yourself that brain space. Think about for 10 minutes, is what you're doing what you really want and what do you want from your life? Because honestly, you don't want to get to kind of near the end of your career or whatever it might be and and think oh my goodness well actually that wasn't really what I wanted um so I hope that's been really useful I hope you're having an amazing weekend and thank you so much for listening to me speak soon